bomb going down. I'm gonna make sure these bastards remember my fucking name. Outstanding. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And welcome to hey, guys. I'd like to introduce Arachnid Soul in conjunction with Fight Night's Finest. We're going to do the live commentary on this match. Take it away, guys. You hear that opening bell. It's your boy, Arachnid Soul, intellectual, voracious, and intense, as always, joined tonight by the Sophus commentator. That's right, you know who it is. It's Fight Night's finest. Fight Night, what's going on? Thank you for having me, Pemby, and thank you, Arachnid, for the wonderful introduction, and welcome you all to the Earl, the Thomas and Mack Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we have a matchup between two warriors. Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber, a legend in the game, a legend heavyweight, one of the best heavyweights to ever play in the sport of boxing. And we also have Kobe Nichols, one of the greatest created fighters on Fight Night Champion, going at it today in a head-to-head -head match at heavyweight. And I would like to second that. We thank Pemby66. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe now. YouTube.com slash Pemby66 for letting us color commentate, for letting us broadcast, for letting us do the play-by-play -play on this exhibition match, once again coming to you from the university, the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, my alma mater, right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Thomas and Mack Center. As we enter the first round, one minute left, we see Nichols, we see Joe Lewis, the early exchange, the power punches, Center ring, the slug fest, fight night. Tell me, how do you think this thing's gonna play out? This is gonna play out to whoever can counter punch better. It's gonna come down to those counter punches. Who's able to take advantage of the aggression that is going on early on? Pemby 66, and a much improved fighter from the time that we first saw him on youtube.com slash Pemby 66. We saw this guy as not much of a technical fighter, but he has learned over the years how to sidestep those punches, how to counter punch, how to land in combination, and most importantly, how to be a basic and fundamental fighter. And we are seeing him live in action here tonight. We finish up that first round. We now enter round number two in this exhibition fight. Once again, you're watching this live on Pemby66's YouTube channel. The men continue the slugfest at center ring. We see a combination from Pemby66 about five seconds ago. The power right, the power left, the uppercuts rocking the jaw of Kobe Nichols. Yeah, we're seeing lackadaisical defense here from Kobe Nichols. He has those hands down. He's being cocky, but he's also landing some sidestep counter punches. But that doesn't matter. Even if you land one, Joe Lewis is coming back with three or four of them. So he's making up from those points, and he's landing counter punches at his own. Let's talk about Joe Lewis here. Let's talk about Pemby 66's style. He's a technical fighter. He is a counter puncher, and he is a man who is not afraid to get his hands dirty. What do you think we're going to see from Nichols here tonight in order to stop that strategy? Well, I think what Nichols needs to do, and what I would tell him to do if I was in his corner, is you need to put your guard up. You need to learn to stick and move. His defense has not quite been on par tonight with the defense of one Pemby 66. It's something he needs to tighten up as we continue here in round number two. We see him now working that footwork, and Pemby having some trouble landing those straight and left on um, those straight right hands and that jab but we see him trying to get in range we see him still finding that range it's only round number two and there's so much left in this match so we're gonna see plenty of action we're gonna see even more exchanges and most of all we're gonna see these sloppy punches start to get tightened up as both men look to find their range here in round number two it's round number two of a potential 10. What we're seeing here is Pemby 66 dominating, in my opinion, both round number one and round number two. We're gonna need to see Kobe Nichols come back, win a couple of rounds, or potentially drop Pemby 66 just to either get up on points or win this fight outright with the knockout. He's definitely gonna have to make some adjustments here. Let's talk about what Kobe Nichols is not doing. We talked about earlier his defense being lackadaisical, how he is not keeping those hands up. We talked about the lack of footwork that he has displayed in rounds number one and round number two. But most important of all, we need to see a bit of confidence from Kobe Nichols. He looks like he's scared to engage 
with the stronger, heavier, and bigger Joe Lewis here in the ring tonight. He looks like he's afraid to get in there and trade those lefts and rights. And we're going to see what he does here as he tries to work his way onto the inside. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to be the guy speaking out of both sides of my mouth. I don't want to tell you last round that Kobe Nichols is not bringing the proper defense. And then in this round, when he brings that defense, say that he's afraid to engage. I think it's just a smarter round. Round number three for Kobe Nichols. I actually think the corner man got in his ear when he was sat on that stool and told him, listen, you need to get the guard up. You need to stick and move. The footwork needs to be there. You've got a big ring. You need to use it. And I believe in round number three, Kobe Nichols listening to the corner man and listening to my advice, switching up his defense. I believe this has been the best round so far for one Kobe Nichols. Yeah, we see him doing everything that he needs to do fundamentally. We're seeing that stiff left jab being worked on towards the inside we are seeing him not being afraid to engage with Pemby 66 aka the brown bomber aka Joe Lewis here tonight we see him planting his feet sitting down on those punches and most of all we're seeing a more technically sound nickels in this round as we come down to the closing seconds of round number three round number three the most impressive round in this fight from uh, from Pem from uh, Nichols, if you ask me, Pempy 66 also a very good showing. He's up two rounds, so when his opponent gets a little bit more aggressive, Pempy 66, the man fighting as the Brown Bomber, Joe Lewis actually can lay out. Not a bad strategy. As we finish up round number three, we go to the stools, we go to the corner men, we look we look to continue this awesome action in round number four. Yeah, we look to see what it is that these adjustments is going to be made. As we can take a look at the official scorecards here, we see Kobe Nichols being able to captivate that first round and Pemby 66 being able to take rounds number two and round number three. Even though it was an impressive showing from Kobe Nichols in round number three, as we see him turn up the aggression here, landing some more combinations, landing that sidestep uppercut, and down goes Pemby 6. And down he goes onto the canvas for the first time tonight. Pemby 66 gets dropped here in round number four. It's Kobe Nichols. We saw the uppercut. We saw his fight night's finest would tell you. A brother man just got his chin checked and got dropped right here. Not far from that Las Vegas strip. What we're going to need to see here now from Pemby 6 is not this aggression. We're going to need to see the footwork from him. We're going to need to see the ones and twos. And most of all, we're going to need to see that defense, that guard, tighten up, get those hands up, and stop letting Kobe Nichols penetrate that impregnable penetration guard of Pemby 66. Once again, let's pay some bills right now, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube.com slash Pemby66. You are watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe. If you like the commentary team, YouTube.com slash ArachnidSoul and YouTube.com slash Fight Night's Finest. Let's see what we're seeing here from Kobe Nichols right now as he starts to slow the pace down. I'm like what I'm seeing from Nichols here. Increase the aggression. Slow the pace down. He rocks him with that left hook to the head. And here it comes. It was the uppercut once more that put Joe Lewis down onto the canvas. And I'm sorry, son. Get your chin check as Joe Lewis meets the canvas for the second time tonight. And you heard that trademark line from that trademark fighter, Fight Night's Finest. He's right on the money. It's the second time tonight that Joe Lewis has tasted the canvas here at Center Ring at the UNLV campus. We're going to see what happens as we proceed into the closing moments here of round number four. We're seeing Nichols with a lot of those sidestep uppercuts, and it's starting to get to the point where he's starting to spin. He's starting to do what it is that he feels is necessary to win the game. This man has no honor. He has no respect. And most of all, he has no skill. We're seeing too many sidestep uppercuts from here, from Kobe Nichols here tonight. Well, if you ask me, there's no question about it. Kobe Nichols did win that last round. There will be some dispute, some people, they might not question that. They're going to question the strategy. The word you're going to hear is the word spam. We see another man get dropped. And that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he can answer the 10 count. 
Yes, he does. The referee checks him as we continue once again into round number five, fight night. Tell me about that next, that last knockdown. What we saw from there was Kobe Nichols getting dropped from doing the same thing over and over again. If you look at the, if you take it back a few moments and hopefully we can look at this in between rounds, we saw a Kobe Nichols that was repeatedly getting hit with shots downstairs to the body as he tried to exploit the game with the sidestep uppercut. What we saw was Pemby take advantage of that and hit him with a sidestep uppercut of his own and drop Kobe Nichols onto the canvas. It was a beautiful setup and he did it fundamentally sound. I have to agree with that. I took a brief moment to look at the punch stats and when I looked up I only saw two guys standing in the ring. One of them was the zebra. One of them was the referee. We're in round number five now. We've got about a minute left on the clock. You see Kobe Nichols trying to come back into this round, trying to finish this round strong, and we see the Brown Bomber. We see Joe Lewis trying to exchange some leather. It's gonna be very interesting to see what happens in this fight. In my opinion, points-wise, and when we talk, down, talk about knockdown-wise, it's been very close. It's still anybody's fight here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we come down to the last 15 seconds of round number five as Pemi is able to land yet another counter and drop him onto the canvas. Somebody please teach that man some defense as he gets hit with the right hook and meets the canvas for the second time in this round. We are all tied up here in my opinion. This fight can go either way. We're going to end this round right now, and yes we do, as we see the two men talking to their corners, getting some instruction, trying to work out some strategy, some game plan here. Both men trying to execute a game plan, a strategy here that can bring this thing home as we now enter round number six of ten rounds. I do believe that Joe Luce has the advantage here. He's the stronger puncher. Kobe Nickers is a counter puncher. He's not counter punching here tonight. And he's getting hit by way too many shots. And you can only eat this amount of leather for so long. That warrior spirit can only hold up for so long as he gets hit with yet another counter right up a cut to the head. And now we're seeing Joe Lewis looking to close the show, doing it defensively. Counter jab to the head. We see those right hands starting to connect. The trade from both men with the high and low combinations. Kobe Nichols try to unleash a top combination to the head. And Joe Lewis is able to counter with a jab downstairs and then a straight right hand awesome. We're seeing the defense being worked. We're seeing the angles being worked here by Pemby 66 as he tried to land that back step straight but was caught by the straight straight right hand of Kobe Nichols. Counter straight right hand, counter right hook. We're seeing all the types of punches from both of these individuals here tonight. And let's talk about this arena. Wait a minute. Down once again goes Kobe Nichols. Down goes Kobe Nichols. It was that uppercut from the right side, passing the guard. It was a tremendous shot. Let's see if he can get back up. Let's see if he can answer this 10 count. Wait a minute, six. Seven, he's still down. Will he make it? Will he answer the bell? No, ladies and gentlemen. Kobe Nichols laid down here tonight in front of you all on the YouTube channel of Pemby66. YouTube.com slash Pemby66. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It was a tremendous night of action here from UNLV. We thank you once again. Arachnid Soul, Fight Night's Finest. Pemby, thanks for letting us do this. And to the fans, Thank you and good night.